We've just finished 18 verses, the introduction, the prologue to the Gospel of John. And, and it's important to know, just as we do this little summary before we move on, that this is alerting us to the things we're going to see through the whole Gospel so that we would see that Jesus is God. He's the Savior of the world. That's John's purpose, which he indicates at the end of the book. It's also important to know that all of these verses that we're, that we're seeing here, they all correspond to things that we find elsewhere in the gospel because this is a prologue. For example, verses one and two, this, this pre-existence of the word of the Son, we see that again in, in uh, chapter 17. Uh, in him was life, we see again in chapter five. The, the life is light, we see in chapter eight. We see uh, that the light is rejected by the darkness in chapter three. Uh, it's not yet quenched by it in chapter 12. And then it, like verse uh, nine in the first chapter here, we see again in, in uh, chapter 3 with the conversation with Nicodemus we see it again in chapter 12 uh, Christ is not received by his own we see in chapter 4 um, being born again and not of the flesh we see in chapter 3 and chapter 8 uh, God's glory we see in chapter 12 the one and only son we see in chapter 3 uh, truth in Jesus Christ in chapter 14 um, uh, chapter 6 uh, that Jesus comes from God. So as you're discipling through this, the temptation is to just get bogged down right here in the introduction, but that's really like getting bogged down in the table of context in a systematic theology book. All of this stuff we've seen in these 18 verses in this introduction are going to play out in the in the whole book of John, which is why we read the book of John to get the greater details and to, to have this just unpack itself. So I want to encourage you, read back through these 18 verses and then look with a longing and an anticipation for what we are about to see, that Jesus is God and the Savior of the world. What a wonderful introduction to get us started into this book.